Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're gonna be talking on a topic that I have gotten quite a few requests to make a video on over the years, and that is Christian mentorship, and specifically how to find a Christian mentor. But before we can answer that question of how to find a Christian mentor, I think it's really important that we first understand what to look for in a Christian mentor. And so I'm gonna be unpacking scripture to answer that question of, what should I be looking for in a Christian mentor or a spiritual leader? And then I'm also gonna be giving you some practical advice as to how to find a Christian mentor. So what is mentorship? Simply defined, a mentor is a person in the faith who's a few steps ahead of you, who shows you how to be a disciple of Jesus. And this is a principle that we see all throughout scripture. I think specifically of Titus, which urges the older men to teach the younger men and urges the older women to teach the younger women. And I do have an entire Bible study with me series on the book of Titus, if you wanna unpack that and go more into the context and everything. But it's something we see really reiterated throughout scripture. Having a mentor for me has meant having someone who I can process with what God is doing in my life, somebody who I can talk through big decisions with, somebody who I can have an example in and seek to emulate in the way that they follow Christ. Mentorship is so incredibly valuable and I know that it's something so many of us are seeking after and wanting to know more about. So we are gonna address that in this video. Before we get into it, if you haven't already, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. I make Christian faith and lifestyle videos to help encourage you in your walk with the Lord and I would love to have you here. And then give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful or encouraging. So first of all, what to look for in a Christian mentor. To answer this question, I wanna take a look at a verse that we talked about actually last week in church and I never really noticed this verse before but it is incredible and I think it perfectly encapsulates what it is we are to look for in a Christian mentor. This verse is specifically talking on spiritual leaders and again that is what a mentor is doing. They are somebody who is leading you spiritually and setting an example for you spiritually in your life and so the verse is Hebrews 13 7. It says remember your leaders those who spoke spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Now, that's a beautiful verse. I want to notice specifically two things in it. The first thing is that it equates leaders with those who speak the word of God. The beginning part of that verse says, remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. And so it is again equating here a leader with somebody who is speaking to you the word of God. And so as you are considering somebody that you want to learn from, who you want to mentor you spiritually, ask yourselves the questions, do they know the word of God? Do they read it consistently? Do they counsel you according to God's word? So meaning when you go to them for advice and they speak advice into your life, is their advice biblical? Does it align with what God is already speaking to us in his word? The second thing I want us to notice about this verse is that it says to consider the outcome of a person's way of life. Now, outcome in the dictionary, the definition is the way a thing turns out or a consequence. And so simply put, the way this person lives, is it working out for them? How has it turned out for them? What is the consequence for their way of living, whether good or bad? And what is the fruit from their way of life? Do they bear fruit that I want in my own life? And if so, imitate their fruit. Faith. The definition of imitate is to take or follow as a model, to copy or simulate. And so if the fruit, if the outcome of the way they are doing their life, the way they are ordering their life, and the way they are following Jesus is something that you also want to duplicate in your life, then imitate their faith because there's an outcome to their faith that you can see that you are trying to imitate in your own life. And as I think about imitating, about following somebody as a model, when we think about it this way, then really a Christian mentor can be from near or far. We can observe people, maybe authors, maybe people that we see online, that we are learning from them in the way that they order their life, in the way that they seek after Jesus, and we are gleaning from them. And so I think that we can have sort of online mentors, but I think really what we are commanded to in scripture 
nature and where there's true power is that day-to-day in-person real life relationship where we can learn from people where we can do life with them and so as we seek after a mentor it is not bad to look for that in people online but I think that we should also really be looking for that in our day-to-day lives in our local church that is the context that scripture really instructs us to seek after these mentor relationships so that is a little bit on what to look for in a Christian mentor now how to find a Christian mentor and it really is simple ask one ask God tell him that this is your heart's desire that you want someone to learn from you want someone to do life with you want someone to show you and to model for you what it looks like to be a disciple of Jesus and as you pray and ask God for this know that you are praying according to his will that he has already told you in his word that his will is for you to learn from somebody who is a few steps ahead of you in the faith God desires that for you and so know as you pray and ask him for that that he will provide and have an open open heart and an open mind to what that may look like to the person that he may bring into your life to be that spiritual mentor for you. So one, ask God and two, ask the person. There's a kind of a principle I feel like of mentorship that the one who is seeking to be mentored should generally be the one to take that first step and ask. One of my first mentors, Rebecca, she's somebody I still really look up to and she was really actively mentoring me when I was sort of in my early college years. And it was actually after taking a class during my first year at Viola, the college I went to, that they were kind of talking about this idea of Christian mentorship and that really sparked in me a desire to want to have one. And so I went, when I went home for the summer, I reached out to Rebecca because she had actually worked in a kids church when I was growing up in kids church and I had known her for a long time and I reached out to her asking her if she would mentor me and that entire summer I would drive out to her house maybe once a week or every couple every other week or something like that and sit down with her as she had her three young girls and just watch her be a mom and talk to her about what's going on in my life and ask for her advice and we would pray together and I would watch what it would look like for her to live out these roles of being a daughter of God of being a wife of being a mother and something she shared with me in these conversations conversations is that actually when I had been in middle school that my dad had asked her if she would reach out to me to mentor me because my dad was looking for me to have you know a woman who was a few steps ahead of me in the faith to learn from and she had kindly told my dad that you know in her experience when it comes to mentorship that it is best if the one who is wanting to be mentored is the one who reaches out because if they're the one who is reaching out then they're the ones who really have that desire to learn and sometimes when it's kind of a situation like that when a parent asks someone to step in and mentor the person who is younger may not actually have that desire to be mentored and so they may not take that time seriously and so that's kind of what Rebecca had told my dad all those years before and then here now I was approaching her asking her because I did have that desire and I think it's so true that that time of mentorship was so much more fruitful because I was the one who was eager to learn and eager to just soak in everything that she was going to be pouring into me and so I think that if there's somebody who you are admiring, whose faith you admire in your local church and you want to be mentored by them, don't just wait for them to approach you, but ask them if they're willing to mentor you. If you're willing to kind of step into their lives and be willing to integrate yourself into their routines. Just like Rebecca and I that summer, I was driving out about 30 minutes to where she lived and kind of just integrating myself into her routine of caring for her girls because she had three young girls at home. And so as the one who is learning from the one older than you, be willing to make the sacrifices to integrate yourself into their routines. Another mentor of mine, Tara, she was taking a group of us through a Bible study at one point through the book of Ruth, which I also have an entire Bible study with me series on that I'll link above if you want to check it out. But if you're familiar with that story, we have Ruth and Naomi and Naomi is Ruth's mother-in-law and they have all this tragedy happen in their family, but Ruth decides to stick with Naomi and to follow Naomi where she goes. And she says to her this famous line, where you go, I will go and your God will be my God. And there was sort of this principle that Tara pulled out from that study that when we find somebody who we want to emulate, when we find somebody who we want to learn from and to mentor us, it is worth the sacrifice of whatever we need to do to remain in their sphere of influence, to remain in their lives. And again, for us to integrate into their routines because godly mentorship is so valuable. And so it is worth 
making those sacrifices to have that. And so ask the person, take that initiative, but also don't get discouraged if you ask somebody and they're not able to. There have been periods in my life where I already had a group of girls I was mentoring and wasn't able to really bring on other people to mentor and do it well, but that wasn't to say that the desire wasn't there, but trust that you know if you ask somebody and they say no, don't get discouraged, but continue to pray, continue to ask God, and he is going to lead you to the right person. So I hope those were some helpful tips for you. I'd love to give you a couple questions just to be thinking on. One is, who is someone I might want to be a mentor of mine? And then also, who is somebody that I might be able to be a mentor to? And as you consider these questions, consider those characteristics or those qualities of a spiritual mentor and ask yourself as well, am I someone whose fruit others might want to imitate? And as you reflect on those things, let our prayer, let all of our prayers be, Lord, make me look more like you. I would love to hear from you down in the comments. If you have a mentor, what is one way that they have impacted your life? I'm gonna be sharing my answer in a pinned comment below. And then if you don't have a mentor, I would love to hear down in a comment below, what is one thing that you would hope to gain through having one? And then I also wanna ask you the question, is there somebody in mind who you could ask to mentor you? And if not, ask Ask the Lord to show you. Once again, I hope this video was helpful to you and encouraging. If it was, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.